Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now in this video we'll be focusing on how do I how do I uniquely identify my elements based on link text. Selenium gives you a power in which you can use link text or you can even use some partial link text to uniquely identify an element. So this type of locator applies only to hyperlink text. Yes, we can access this by simply targeting the link, and we are we can use it by link equal to text. Now what text is there should be there in our A tag or in our anchor tag as we call it in our HTML. So this is my uh, A tag which is saying go to home and it's calling the integrate HTML file. So if I pass it as link equal to go to home, this should be able to uniquely identify my element on my page and I can use this, this as a complete link text. I can even use it as a partial link text by, you know, by passing it only the home attribute in this one. They should be able to give me the exact or a unique link on my entire page. Now let's quickly go to our, you know, Mozilla Firefox on our screens and see how it works. As we have already seen, you know, the working of uh, locators in the previous examples. And in this one, we already saw about link text. What is link text, you know? Uh, why we actually need link text and how we can actually use it. Now let's have a practical demo wherein we would be actually seeing the working of link text, right? So for this, I request you to kindly open up your Eclipse. Let me also start with my Eclipse. So here's my Eclipse. And in the Eclipse, I would open up my project, like you can create a new project named as Locator by Link Demo, right? In this project, going into the SRC folder, let's create a new package first. Let me name this package as com dot wait link example. I click on finish. So the package has been created. I would create a new class over here and I name this class as link text demo. And also obviously obviously I want the main method also available in to be available into this class. So here's my system. Now what I do is I get started. So what is the very basic step that we have been doing? We you know we quickly uh, set the property and here I provide it as equal drivers. After this I create the instance of the web driver driver equal to new mounted driver. Here I pass driver dot get. Now what we actually need to get now obviously we would be opening up our you know default example that is available on our website so since I don't remember the URL exactly, I would open up the URL over here. I go to tutorials point, tutorials point dot com, Selenium, Selenium automation practice, right? So, and you can also find it under the Selenium useful resources. Okay, let's do it this way. On tutorials point dot com, now here we are having the selenium tutorial right let me check where it is let me find it selenium now what i'll do is i need to click and i go and i need to go or navigate to the next page that results in the index of the selenium page of the home you know home tutorial page so now what i'll do is i'll try and fetch the link right since obviously it's an anchor tag so obviously I can fetch the element by link now in the link what is what are the unique parameters by which a link can be identified like if you can check there are you know there are there can be a title there can be something as you know the tag there can be the HRF but uh, we would be using link text like if you see that there can be no learn selenium available on this page right so what i do is i would i simply copy this and into my eclipse i first make the object of the web element 
Weber element, I name this as selenium link is equal to driver dot find element here I need to identify or pass how I actually want to identify my element so I want to identify my element using the link text and this is the text now nothing much has to be done over here selenium dot link dot click so let Let's quickly pass the URL that we want to open up. The URL is https point dot com. So very basic example. Let's quickly run it and see, like, is the user able to navigate to the next page? So it's on tools point dot com, and if you check, the user has been successfully navigated to the index or the home page of selenium tutorial right so in this way you know we can work on you know uh, linking uh, pages by pages by link text uh, by you know by identifying a part of the link text now there may be a scenario right wherein you are not having the exact link text or you are not aware about the exact link right okay so what we can do is let me open gmail.com for you so this is the home page of gmail.com right which opens up and here I'll try to click on find my account which is the first link after this one right now uh, here uh, what I was doing is I was passing the exact text see I'm not aware about what is the exact text right so what I can do is let me create a new class for this one and I can name it as partial link text demo right obviously I want it to be have the main method now I, I won't be you know going through all of this again I would be simply copying these two file these two lines of code just to save time now here what I'll do is I need to get the URL right so what I will do is I will say driver dot get here I pass the URL that is www dot gmail dot com let's part it with the protocol as well as HTTPS right now what I do is I will find a web element right I name it as find account equal to driver dot find element here I pass how I want to find the element by dot if you can check properly that like these are all the you know all the ways in which we can text and in which we can find an element I will choose this one that is the partial link text here I will pass the link text as uh, C C O U N T. I'm not even passing the exact link text I'm just passing it as you know like a uh, okay like account right now what it has to do is it, it will actually find this element for me and now I'll simply click this particular element right so very simple again I'm just getting the URL I'm finding an element but now I'm passing the small or a partial link test and I'm clicking the main account for this one so this opens up as the gmail page if you observe properly then this was the previous page that was that opened up I click on find my account it opens a new page saying as having trouble signing in right so very simple we are not passing the exact URL but passing uh, in a partial or a small URL uh, or a small uh, text like uh, 
I repeat, we're not passing the exact text, we're just passing a partial link text to actually identify the element for us, right? So guys, uh, this was all that we had for the link text and the partial link text. Thank you all for tuning in.